Apparently I'm on 17. Apparently it didn't save. I'll transmit the latest data we've received from the That's okay. It's a warm-up. <laughs> it's a warm-up. What was 17? This wasn't that stealth fighter's dog fight, was it? Uh-oh. I think it was. This isn't familiar at all. Oh, press start to skip. This is refueling craft, okay. Oh, it's this one. Okay. We get to redo on. this one. It wasn't too bad. Get to the enemy fortress. Once you're close, increase altitude and fly over the dam. This is PJ. If I'm with you, I know I can do it. I'll follow your lead. You've passed the first bridge. Come one. All hell's breaking loose above. Fly as low as possible. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, I know. We just burn all the way down here. And we get air. And we slow. And we land, or go in right here. There we go. Oh shit! Uh oh, oh, nope! That's bad. Yeah, not by choice. Apparently we didn't save when we uh, finished this one last time. Yeah. Oops, indeed. So, you know, it's okay. It's a nice warm-up. This is why I need the warm-up. Oops! Flew into a tower. <laughs> Telling me to pull up, so I'm think I'm as low as possible. I was going to submit it at some point. Two are teaming up. I like it. 
teamwork to get me to play people's favorite games sounds like good teamwork to me. I'm happy to encourage this behavior. Five K. Fuck off. Hit it, didn't destroy it. One more pass. This one will definitely need one more pass. Excellent. Got three on that one. That will be done on next pass. Jerk. Oh well. It was you, wasn't it, Sam? Do I get close enough to kill you? I hope so. Die. Hit me with the missile now, why don't you? Let's actually save it this time. We sure did, kid.
sure is, kid. Without beginning or end, the ring stretched into infinity. It doesn't give me a chance to save, that's the problem. That sucked. Here comes the snow. Shoot down the enemy. I'll run a plane analysis and fill you in ASAP. Eh, we're here. Hey, Mr. Tube, how you doing today? Ooh, get back here, you little bugger. Ha <laughs> Welcome, Rage, as well. Now give me your butt, Pixie. I need Pixie butt. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Eclipse. Right in the sweet spot. Still dodges it though. Wasn't behind him enough. Okay, we'll just we'll just keep going. Get him! Just beat phase one this time. That's all you gotta do. BTMB2 just lost their narrative designer. Don't know who they are. That was a bad shot. The, the way the laser moves is so unnatural looking because it's a laser on a plane flipping around in the air with no sense of direction to you. Ah! Gom 1 is 
Ah! I was a big fan of the first one. It was pretty well done. Yeah, as soon as we fight Pixie, we done. This is the final encounter. Yeah, jerk. I know, right? What? Okay. Okay. How far away? Was he way closer than I thought, or did that laser just go a really long distance? I thought he was farther away than that. Yeah, Pixie is flying the prototype to the super planes that will come in for the rest of the series. So it's the introduction to the super planes in the series. You're good, Pixie. You're good. <laughs> Olé! Come on, turn around. Come back. Thank you. I still didn't hit him. You son of a bitch, Bigsy.
And he changes direction and angle so quickly, just flipping. And when he accelerates and chooses to leave, he's just gone. Can't wait for you to do all the escort missions in Bioshock 2. Well, if most are optional, I probably won't be doing them. Forget escort missions. Farther than I thought I was. See, when he decides to accelerate and leave, he just leaves. Yeah, I disagree. Nope. Is going down. If you want to see disgusting, cheaty moves on a boss fight, AC7 will show you one. No, that's... But nothing crazy cheaty about his speed and maneuverability. It's still more than the player can possibly achieve, is all I'm saying. That was not a good phase two. It was a good phase one, though. I got him to start jousting with me finally. Phase 1 is a good practice for Phase 3. I kicked his ass there. <laughs> I figured out the distance that he had to be at to fire is what I did. Nope, up! Oh, there we go!
Disagree. Yeah. My problem is by the time I get to phase three, I'm always so damaged that one missile kills me and then the first head on I have to do with him, he hits me with a missile. And then it's GG from there. You've seen people fly backwards through tunnels. Yeah, that's... That's definitely getting crazy. I'm getting much better at avoiding his BS. I didn't think it was that close to me. Confirmed reactivation of nuclear silo. I guess I got hit by something. Well, I was at 93% damage taken. Damage starts at zero. Goes to 100.
Yeah, it happened. It was a thing that happened, absolutely. Piss off. Hey, go away. Hey. Yeah, that's right. And leave me alone. Get off my butt. Mr. Superjet with more speed than me. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go take a pee. I'll be right back after. Do this again. You going down this time, Pixie. This time get off my butt. Why you always on my butt? Banks up hard sometimes. I gotta stop uh, going down when I do this. Oh, see, he's right on my butt as soon as I turn around sometimes. And if he won't leave me alone, then I've gotta just dogfight. This is what happened in the other phase three. I couldn't get him to do the dogfight at all. He just was on my butt, or I was on his butt, and he wouldn't let us get any distance. At which point, you just lose. I actually lost that one in t to time, not damage. What? Okay. Confirmed reactivation of nuclear silo. Gom team, continue your mission. Engage. Oh yeah, music's great. Stand by. We're analyzing the situation. It's actually really good for dogfighting. It, it fits really well to the game. It's a strange choice, but it, it's really actually quite good to listen to while you're playing. It, it gets you focused and in the zone.
Yep. Eat it. You gotta get him into this, where you wanna be just a little bit above him. A little bit higher than him, coming in, and right around 3500 you fire. That was a little early. I know, right? I hate time limits. And, and, and it's really sad because I really like this game. It was a lot of fun. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Except for the time limits. And the time limits are so offensive to me that I'll probably never play it again. But otherwise, I, I love it. I love it. It's a lot of fun. Thoroughly recommend it. I look forward to our review of it. We'll have good and bad things to say. I don't think Pseudo or uh, Rage has played this one. Pseudo might have. Hit him. Hit him again. I think I blew him up. I did. I've played a few, but it's been a long time, and Rage has not. Never was much of a plane guy. Me either. Me either. But it's actually a lot of fun, and I think you'd actually like most of it. Nope. Nope, that's just phase three. But it's the best phase one and two I've ever had. So, we might actually do this. I've just got to do what I did in phase one again, and not get shot. You want a hotel set up in VR, huh? I don't blame you. I did. Ah. Now he's going to do this where he starts. Just sitting on my butt. I have a joystick, I use a VR, I use Vorpex to have VR helicopter piloting in Arma 2. Sounds cool. Sounds cool. V2 in five minutes. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm trying to get to head on, but he won't get off my butt. And he turns so fast, I can't get away from him. I got an hit. See? And now I'm so close to the edge that I'm going to fail if I go across any further. That was too early. He banked up.
You're number one. No, I'm not close enough. I thought he was gonna spin fast again. <sighs> All right, well, at least we hit him a couple times this time. We stand a chance. Where is he? I got him, but he got me. Closest I've ever been, but I can't avoid that rock or that missile of his. I hit him with one, that's amazing. Double KO, I hope so. We're getting better anyway. Oh, he pulled up. Nope, nope. Uh, bugger off with your laser, would ya? When he started hitting me for more damage, I was just like, okay, just kill me. There's no point in leaving phase one with that much damage. I've made adjustments. I'm, I'm going faster, accelerating more, and because I'm going a little bit faster, I'm firing a little bit earlier because my missiles are going faster. So far, it's been working. Killing everybody isn't starting over from scratch, okay? That's just killing everybody. We already do that. Kill them all dead. I'll do my best.
Just needed to pull my plane up a little bit more. Dude, that wasn't gonna work. Okay. Phase three, take two. You and I are opposite sides of the same coin. <sighs> Gong one, go for his one air intake. When we face each other, we can finally see our true selves. That may be a resemblance, but we never face the same direction. Ah, <laughs> no. Come on. What are you doing? Well, you gotta fly at me for me to do head on. You're just sitting there and spinning in circles. How am I supposed to fly head on to you? Come on, AI! That's that's wonderful. I'm I'm glad the V2 is going to re-enter in four minutes. I, however, cannot dogfight because see, he turns so fast that if he doesn't want to dogfight with me, he doesn't. He just doesn't. No, I don't want to fight you this time. I'm just gonna turn in circles when you're far away from me. And then accelerate close to you and stay on your butt. There we go. Nope. Nope. Banks away. Okay. Well, he's here every day. Like all street, so. Did I even hit him there? I didn't see if I hit or not. Well, the next head on I do, I'm just gonna die. But that's okay. Let's try this. No, see? He... I have him like three bars of the radar away, but he's so fast that by the time I turn around, he catches up. Now I'm going to turn around too early, and he's just going to refuse to turn around. Two minutes left. Oh, 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 he's actually going to turn around? Okay, okay. That's cool. of nuclear
Nuclear silo. Gom team, continue your mission. Engage. I really wish I could just do that phase. Practice it. Even if it wasn't like, even if I had to do all three to succeed, I wish there was just some way I could practice that phase. See, if he'd just agree to actually fly back and forth with me like that in phase three, it'd be great. It'd be wonderful. I was thinking of just practicing that phase, but I think I'd rather just try to get to phase three. Nice and clean. If phase one is nice phase three practice, then just doing phase one over and over again at least might help phase three. You're on phase three with me. Well, I'm not on phase three, but that's great. You're gonna play until we win together. Sounds good. Get back here. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Pretty easy to get killed by that laser. Confirmed reactivation of nuclear silo. Gom team, continue your mission. Engage. Stand by. We're analyzing the situation. Here comes the snow. See, sometimes the AI plays nice and does what I need him to do. And I get it super clean, super fast now. Knew that was a bad one. Like that.
Come here, Pixie. I'm gonna make you Pixie dust. Hopefully in phase three, he doesn't just sit in one spot and spin in a circle like he did last time. That really sucked. However, I've now taken 36% damage in phase two and that sucks. He's just going to catch up real fast as soon as I do this now. And I missed him. Fighter pilot cliche is intensify. How's it going, Val? Don't mind me, I'm just going to fly into the ground. I just love ending up on the edge of the map and being forced to run away during a time limit so that I don't just instantly die. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of time and instantly die. No, oh, that's not ow. That's happened dozens of times. <laughs> Confirmed reactivation of nuclear silo. Gom team, continue your mission. Engage. Stand by. We're analyzing the situation. Here comes the snow. Shoot down the enemy. I'll run a plane analysis and fill you in ASAP.
Okay, let's do this, Pixie. Stop spinning around instantly, Pixie. Behave like a normal plane, Pixie. Hey, Karthik, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. We fly in planes. Trying to shoot down a pixie. Pixie versus missile! Come on, get off my butt. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Gee, thanks, board. I love your vote of confidence. What do you mean a mod? Stuff you see on AC7 multiplayer really shows how far away the top players are. It'd be interesting to watch. My focus is awesome. Well, thank you. Like the perfected mod. I'm not sure what you... Oh, I'm, you're, you're wanting me to play a game mod. I mean, by all means, submit one. I play what people ask me to. And that's why I don't play the PvP.
No kidding. Raise, raise, get air. I hit him without getting hit! I hit him without getting hit! I hit him without getting hit! You would have left this game in five minutes. This game is actually really fun. Yeah! Oh, take that! Zero damage! <laughs> Naja. <laughs> I, I'd love one more boss. This is actually a fun game. There was a lot of, like, specific learning to go on with that boss, but it got the blood pumping when I beat it. Although a lot of the time it did just feel like chasing an object around. Which wasn't the funnest. But once I learned how to do the boss, it was quite fun. Quite fun. I just had to visualize the missiles flying at my so ship in my head and figure out which way I should go in order to this fool them. His trail ends as well. I'm coming at them from above, so if I dip down, they're already the arcing up and they can't turn down, they shoot right over me. World psyche was great. Those who witnessed the carnage went on to organize a global arms reduction. Perhaps they were admonishing themselves. Yeah, and you come from above because your rockets are underneath. It gives him a better angle at his ship, so he can't turn in time, and then you duck under his that are having to turn up. And these men were also sealed away from history. Maybe this was one path to achieve peace. And here the curtain falls on this story. However, that does not mean their own stories came to an end. I fly under the code of knighthood. It's no surprise, since we soldiers are the descendants of the Belkin Knights. We protect the meek and give our lives for honor, but that does not mean that we are generous, since generosity will cost us our lives. If the pilot survived to the end of the war, he must have carried out these rules. I bailed out and landed here. The captain was gone. I've lived a comfortable life since then. And I probably have him to thank for that. They ring the bells here at dusk to honor the liberation of the capital. It signals peace, but to me, they are the sounds of death. Hatred cannot be the only motivation for war. It only brings about more pointless deaths. I lost most of my students. They were all my children, my flesh and blood. I will never overcome that grief. I'll probably never teach anyone again. Nor will I ever go up in the sky again. I have entrusted everything I know to a new generation. I'll just look on from here. I don't think you'd have the reflexes to be a pilot anymore. You're kind of old now. Marcella Vasquez, the Espada team's number two and former member of the Sapin Air Force, 9th Air and Land Division, 11th Tactical Fighter Squadron. She is thought to be a survivor of the Coup d'etat squadron. 
She currently earns a living as a dancer. If the Demon Lord hadn't appeared, our lives might have been different. For me, it wasn't about flying or ideals. Most of all, it was about him, my flight lead. Our mission was to escort the heavy command cruiser that was to act as transportation for the organization. And the Demon Lord appeared, as if to block our path. I will never forget his overwhelming power. One by one, my comrades were shot down, and then the mother bird we were supposed to protect. We survived after the fight. We left our organization and returned to the ground together. But those whose hearts are in the sky will always return to the sky. He was one of them, and so he left even though his wounds had yet to heal, and he died there, never to return to me. But I don't blame anyone. The regret and suffering that remained after that battle were also what he had given me. They're among the precious few things he left behind. Joshua Bristow, former captain of the Ocean Air Defense Force, 8th Air Division, 32nd Tactical Fighter Squadron. His actions during the Belkin War are surrounded in mystery, and he is rumored to be one of the founders of a world with no boundaries. His whereabouts were unknown after the decisive Battle of Valdrik, but several years later he resurfaced as a leader of a terrorist organization. Today he is serving time in prison. This darkness and that little window are my entire world now. I'm actually rather fond of it. The darkness envelops me in a borderless world. A world with no boundaries. He was not the reason we were unable to change the world. No matter what the desired outcome is, the world can still change. As long as people expand their knowledge... Hey, at least it's not a Kojima game, right? Today's world has already changed from what it was back then. Larry Fink, also known as Solo Wing Pixie. GALM Team's number two, and member of the Ustio Air Force, 6th Air Division. 66th Air Force Unit. That's right. This man was his buddy. And his enemy. 6th Air Division, 66th Air Force Unit. I should have died that day. But I didn't. I dragged my wounded body and reached ground zero of the nuclear detonations. A barren, empty land. I felt an unbearable sadness when I witnessed that landscape. There were still people living there. They were the ones that saved me. It may be true that the world has no need of borders, but would getting rid of them really change anything? The world won't change for the better unless we trust people. Trust yep. is vital in a peaceful world. And you're referred to as the Demon Lord. Yep. I'm still on the battlefield. Right now I'm near a border. Alright, Karthik love to what India really too. Mean, and what their volition really is. I may not find what I'm looking for, but I still want to try. Anyway, that's what I've come to believe, and I think that's enough. Will he see this video? If you do meet him, give him a message for me. Yo, buddy. Still alive? And thanks, friend. See you again. The Demon Lord of the Round Table. A warrior who soared through the Belkin War, inspiring both fear and admiration. His presence filled the skies for
for but a few short months before he disappeared. Apart from that, nothing is known about him. I was never able to find out what kind of a person he really was. But whenever they talked about him, they always had a slight smile on their faces. That, perhaps, may be my answer. Well, if at 19 is anything at all current, probably not, because that guy most most likely does not look like he looked there anymore. He's, you know, 20 plus years older now, so... I think it's an interesting way to use a typical silent protagonist for Ace Combat. The documentary shows they view the player in different ways, especially if you change your karma over time. You decide your character, but the viewpoint is from your enemies who vary in what they think of you. That is a very interesting point. I do like that. You get a feel for who the character is, you get a feel for who the other people are, you don't ever have to make decisions, you never have to say anything, there's no dialogue for the main character. I think it primarily helps deliver action quicker. Like, there's cutscenes between each one, but they don't take too long. Fairly quickly, you're back with a stick in your hand and shooting planes out of the sky again. Ishin decide, designed the planes. I didn't catch the last name, but the first name was Ishin. Saw that. The old Ishin needed a hobby. True story. He needed a hobby so bad, he just ended up going around lighting things on fire. Six is probably the worst story outside of the spin-offs, and that's why you requested seven. Because it's cinematic, but at least a good story. New console. Maybe a nice contrast for us. I have a 360. Do you consider either Mech Warrior or Front Mission? I love Front Mission. Front Mission 3 was one of my favorite games. Played the hell out of it growing up. I wasn't a big Mech Warrior fan. I preferred Heavy Gear to Mech Warrior. Anything Squaresoft, I got my hands on and played the hell out of it because everything they did was gold. Even if it's something that's not a genre you would normally like, it's 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 just a well-made game enough that you can appreciate and enjoy them. Like Einhander. Even if you don't like shmups, you can love Einhander. Same era. It does indeed. I grew up with the Super Nintendo a lot. So Final Fantasy 4, 2 for us, Final Fantasy 6, 3 for us, Chrono Trigger. They were in my collection. They got played so regularly that I knew to watch for that name Squaresoft. I didn't fully understand like companies and people making games and whatnot. I just knew as a kid that when you saw that name, it meant you should play that game. 
That was my level of understanding. It got me by. Led me to some fantastic games. I played Super Smash Bros. Brawl's theme at full volume in my shower, and it sounds like an opera in my shower. Awesome! And yes, Snow, we've shot down the pixie! Ha ha ha! He is no more. He lived, though. Still waiting for the Ace Combat 25th Anniversary DLC for Seven. They're gonna add the fighter designed by the guy who created Macross. Right on. Yeah, after all that, he lived through the crash and crawled into the middle of ground zero of the nuke and somehow lived through that, too. They did an interview with him at the end. It legit sounds like an opera. Excellent. Yeah, with Final Fantasy VI slash three, I had one of those OMFG moments seeing summons. I had already seen summons in two. There was a lot of them, and they were pretty nice pixel art and stuff in that game too. Not the quality of six, but it was something I was used to. 